G'day guys, got a bit of a different video today. Today I'm going to be doing a day in the life as an Etsy print on demand seller. Now I don't do this full time, I do this part time. It's just after nine o'clock, I've dropped the kids off, kinder, daycare, and now I am going to hopefully do two hours worth of work. Now I know I haven't been doing many of these videos and that is because the five new listings a day has been such a challenge. It's been quite time consuming. But I'm over halfway now. I thought I'd just give you a bit of a glimpse of a day in the life. So I haven't actually put through any of the orders. Sometimes if I wasn't doing these five listings a day, I would just put through the orders in bed and then kind of leave it at that. But today, because I'm doing the five listings, I'm gonna spend two hours today doing it and then that's it. So overnight we had seven new orders, three new messages. And what I like to do first is I like to get onto the messages. Because sometimes the messages and the orders don't link up. So they send you a new message that's not linked to the order, whether they want a different size or address or whatever. So I always go through the messages first before I put any of the orders through. So at the moment on my computer, I've got three tabs open. I've got Printify open, my shop in the orders section, and then the messages. And sometimes I even have the listings open as well just so I can see how many times this particular item has sold, this sweatshirt or shirt, because I still like to check and make sure it's not gonna to be too big on the shirt. So if I've sold 20 of them, then I've obviously already checked. But if I've just sold one, then I like to check it. Okay, so I've put through the orders. There was one for a pin, there was four sweatshirts. They were all the same design. Two of them were going to Montgomery, Texas, and the other two were going to different places. And then shirts wise, two of those, one of them is really quite interesting actually. It's a, let's say musical niche. And I recently had a customer send me a message, a previous customer and say, look, just a heads up, you are being attacked in a Facebook group because I had misspelt on one of the um, mock-ups. So the first mock-up was fine, it was spelled right. And then some of the darker color ones, they were just the wrong way around. And she said, look, people are just being really unkind. Hubby and I laughed about it. I took down the wrong mock-ups and we thought, do you know what? It is actually free advertising. So I put up some other designs in that same niche because you know, if they come to check out the shop, then they'll see that we've got these options but it was really nice. And that's what I mean about building a community with your customers and talking to them. They, she did that off her own bat. Like she had previously bought with us. She'd got the 20% discount cause she'd left a review. And so she felt compelled to send us a message to just let us know that it was wrong. And I've had other people do this. I've actually had other sellers who have said, Hey Ali, <laughs> you've actually got the wrong size chart. So I put the, Bella canvas size chart with the Gildan sweatshirt. And um, she's like, no one seems to mind. <laughs> and that's probably the thing about it guys is not many people actually do measure. Um, so it hadn't been a problem. So because that musical shirt I haven't sold many of, I'm going to go into Printify and actually check it and check the measurements. And at the moment I'm doing about 11.8 inches in width to 11.6. I feel like that fits really well. It does really well in the small t-shirts as well. The other thing is, so I had three messages. One message was requesting sand medium in the Gildan. Swift Pod or Swift POD doesn't have medium or four extra large <laughs> or five extra large. I'm laughing at this because we've got I've obviously got my phone on because we've just got a sale. Now I turned my notifications off on my old phone when my mum passed away in the middle of the year last year. And I've only just put it on a new phone that I've got because with my five listings a day, what I'm doing is if someone favorites it, I go back and have a look at it and look at what else they were favoriting, what other designs they were liking so that I kind of get an idea what the buyer wants. So I've got it back on again. And you know, it is kind of nice when you're working so hard on this business to get that positive reinforcement, a cha-ching. Anyway, guys, I was saying, so I was mentioning about sand being out of stock and Printify, I spoke to them. I just have them on a chat while I'm putting through some orders. And they said, thank you for your patience. We apologize. We do not have a restocking date. I'll put it on the screen. I'll take a little screenshot. Um, so I'm just gonna tell that to the customer. The other problem was a lady said that they had been in pre-transit for a long time. So she had 
ordered on the 8th. It had been in pre-transit from SwiftPod from the 10th. Um, and what it's now like the 15th here in Australia. So it was still in there. So I contacted um, Printify, you'll see the messages that I sent here, and this is the response I got. And what I did, I keep it really simple. I screenshotted that and I sent that to the customer and I just said, this is what the printers have said. I very much put a lot of responsibility onto the printers. Obviously it's my shop, but if, the printers send a bad design. I say, I am so sorry. I don't know how the printers got that through quality control. So I just find it helps with my relationship with the customers. I'm dealing with it. I'm sorting it out for them, but I'm not laying the blame on me. I'm not the one who's doing this shipping. They are. And the last question, a lady bought a t-shirt. Um, it's for Mardi Gras. So she was wondering if she could express ship it. So at the moment with the t-shirt, $4 shipping. So I went into Monster Digital, went through Printify and it said it was going to be $20 something. And um, I was like, I just send that to her. I just say, this is crazy expensive. This is what the printer has got. But I just make sure I'm showing just the little bit with just the express shipping, not how much the whole thing costs like here that I've shown you guys. Um, and then I put it up to her and she was like, well, how many days is that going to be? And by now I'm just thinking, oh, this lady's going to be a problem. So she's ordered it. She's going to want it quickly. If it's going to be a delay in express shipping, it's going to come back to me. So once she kind of was like, how long is express shipping going to be? Which I actually don't know. I said, sorry, I don't know. I haven't put your order through yet. Would you like me to cancel it? And I'm just waiting to hear back on her. But something Dave and I say a bit in our business is an emergency in their world is not an emergency in our world. So some people just leave it too late to buy shirts, sweatshirts that they need for events. And if they want to pay express shipping, they can, but it doesn't change the processing time of the printing. So Monster Digital does tend to print within, you know, a couple of days, one to two days. But I think Printify won't do anything for seven days. So it's got to get past seven business days before they'll look into it. So I always try and tell customers that, yes, you can pay for express shipping, but it's not going to speed up the printing time. I'd rather cancel them now, lose that sale, than for them to be wasting my time messaging me because then I've lost the money on the sale anyway. Because if you spend too much time responding to these people, then your 10 US dollars per t-shirt is gone. Um, and that's happened with something else. We had a bit of a problem with a lady with mugs and we were going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And Dave said, we haven't made any money on this. Like the amount of time she has taken with messaging back and forth, the money's gone. So time is money. The other problem is Dark Heather was out at Swift Pods. So I'm gonna have to have a look and see if I can go through someone else. I just forgot to mention with the lady um, with the pre-transit, I sent that message back. I screenshotted what Printify had sent to me. And then I also said to her, look, I will put you on my daily to-do list. So each day I will check on her package and just see where it's at. It'll take me under 10 seconds and she feels like I'm actually doing something and taking responsibility for this. I've done this previously and customers are really happy with it and then they kind of stop bothering you. And as soon as it's kind of on its way, I just say, oh, I can see your package is on its way now. Bang, done. And to me, that's great customer service. Well guys, that was cutting it fine. It is one minute to 11 and I have finished. I got my five designs done. I did notice some changes in Printify. So now they've got some mock-ups on a person, on a male and a female. Um, especially for white, they do both. Athletic Heather, they just did it on the lady. So that was a big change I noticed. And also in the actual design space on Printify here, you can see with Monster Digital, it's actually showing how wide it can go across. So I don't go out to those edges. Otherwise, when you get your design, it's just in your armpits. So those five are done. I did five teacher ones. I'm thinking for back to school, but I just want to get into it now. So it's done. I'm already selling teacher shirts. So even though it's not back to school time, people have started buying them this year. So I thought I'd get onto it. And that kind of July, August time, it's a busy time. And when they start buying, they start buying a lot. So I want to be prepared. So I do teacher shirts today. Well, guys, I hope you found this helpful. I'm stopping now. 
Um, I'll check in again tonight just to see if we've had any more orders. But otherwise, I'm not going to look again. I'm not going to respond to messages throughout the day. I will leave that until tonight when I do a final check and put some orders through. Alrighty, guys. Thanks heaps for watching. Bye. Bye.